Powerhouse, presented by Alliant Energy. Alliant Energy, we're on for you. You may not realize it, but you're probably paying for electricity that you're not using. Megan, it's true. It's called standby or phantom power. This is when some electronics, like your TV or computer, are in standby mode. You're not using the items, but they are still plugged into an electrical outlet and drawing electricity to maintain settings. Now, when you turn on your TV and it comes on to the last channel you watch, that's thanks to standby power. That's right. So how much standby power is your home wasting? Well, it varies. Many televisions waste approximately 25% of their energy use in standby power. VCRs suck up about 50%, and you're paying for all of this wasted energy. You might be surprised by this, but overall standby power accounts for 5 to 10% of your electric bill. That's about $50 to $100 a year for an average home. That's substantial. Some of the biggest offenders are cell phone chargers, TVs, VCRs, computers, and microwaves. For example, a computer and monitor, both in sleep mode, can use about 25 watts of power. A digital cable box, television, DVD player, and video game console can use about 24 watts of standby power. By comparison, when a light bulb is turned on, it typically uses between 40 and 75 watts. That's something. So what can you do to get rid of the phantom power in your home? Start by carefully monitoring the charging of things like cell phones and digital camera batteries to ensure that their AC adapters are only plugged in when they're recharging. Many products have a light or a power bar that indicates when the batteries are fully charged, and when they're done charging, unplug them. Shut down a computer instead of just logging off. Turn off the monitor instead of letting it sit in sleep mode. And consider unplugging the electronic products that have a standby mode when away from home for several days or more. Now, the simplest solution is to unplug all your electronics. An easy way to do this is to use a power strip for computers and monitors, as well as TVs, VCRs, and stereos. That way, you only have one switch to turn off. We know it's easy to forget to turn off everything. Now, there are a few products out there that can help. This is a smart strip. It monitors power consumption and can sense the difference between when computers and other devices are on or off. Once it figures out what is going on, it shuts off the power, eliminating the idle current or standby power drawn from them. This smart strip will cost you around $35. Here's another device that works kind of the same way. It's the Watt Stopper. It has six outlets and uses a motion detector, if you will, to monitor and manage energy use. What you do is plug all your devices into this power strip, and the power strip will automatically turn on all the connected devices. Something like this costs around $90. This gadget can help you determine which of your plug-in items are the most inefficient power consumers. It's called the Kilowatt Electricity Usage Monitor. You just plug it into the wall and then plug your electrical device into it. It will assess how efficient the electrical device is. You can calculate the item's electrical cost by the day, week, or month, or even year. Electronics have come a long way in efficiency thanks to Energy Star. So if you're out there shopping for a new TV, VCR, or stereo electronics, look for the Energy Star label. It identifies appliances that consume less energy. And they're showing up on TVs, VCRs, and many other electronic devices. Items with the Energy Star label have been designed to use up to 50% less in standby power. And make sure you know where your energy is going. Remember, don't keep anything plugged in that you don't have to. And buying energy-efficient electronics can help you keep more money in your pocket.